Hi, so today I want to talk a little bit about a uh, rabbit diet and the appropriate way to feed your rabbit. Uh, most people uh, actually don't realise what rabbits should and shouldn't eat. And we regularly in the rescue get rabbits in that are obese, uh, particularly overweight. Uh, and that creates them a number of health problems that we have to then deal with before they're ready for adoption. Um, in the news recently, you may have uh, followed the story of Darius, the world's largest rabbit. Uh, and the recent press has covered the fact that his son Jeff is now catching up with him and may well uh, steal the record from him. And that's what's inspired me to talk to you a little bit about appropriate diet because there's a difference between a large rabbit and a fat rabbit. In the rescue uh, we have uh, some of our own rabbits, rabbits that I've adopted through the rescue that are all giant breeds. I've got a particular passion for the large rabbits. Um, they are much more laid back, they are much friendlier, They've just got a much nicer temperament that, that, that I thoroughly enjoy and so I've got a strong passion for giants. But for me a giant rabbit doesn't need to be a fat rabbit. Let me first of all just introduce you to some of my own rabbits. This is River and one of her buddies Gallifrey. And River's about three years old. This is Leonard and Sheldon. Sheldon's about three. And Leonard's only seven months old. This is Mistopheles. He's just under four. This is Che. Che is half Dutch, half giant, so he's not, not a full giant at all, but he's a, a larger rabbit. And this is Elphaba. Elphaba's just under four. So as I say, Obesity in rabbits is as big a problem as obesity in dogs, in cats, and in humans. And when we see pictures of um, obese dogs and cats and humans, we all feel a little bit kind of disgusted to an extent that, that people struggle to deal with that, uh, and we all recognise that that's a problem. Here's why it's a problem. Let's have a look at Darius's diet. So according to a newspaper report in 2014, this is Darius's daily diet. What we have here is 12 carrots, an apple, two dog bowl fulls of uh, rabbit muesli. Now I didn't even have two dog bowls, so it's probably a wee bit more than this he's genuinely getting. A full cabbage and a small amount of hay. I've based the amount of hay there on a separate report that suggested that Darius eats one bale of hay per month, which would suggest that's his daily allowance there. So why is this a problem? Well, let's go through things turn by turn. A recent report by the Dick Vet in Edinburgh showed that muesli foods are really, really bad, not just in terms of inappropriate food products within there, like seeds, etc., but the muesli doesn't allow a rabbit to um, grind their teeth appropriately, so it creates horrendous dental problems by feeding them this type of food completely. It's also guilty of allowing a rabbit to selectively feed. They'll eat the bits that they like the look of, they like the taste of, and they'll leave the bits that aren't so nice. That means they're not getting the full nutrients out of that. Bear in mind that dried food is supposed to be a supplement to a rabbit's diet. Cabbage, that's quite a lot of veg to be giving, uh, to give a, a full cabbage uh, to a rabbit, even a rabbit of a, a giant rabbit scale. The biggest concern for me though is the, the sheer volume of carrot here. Carrot's very, very high in natural sugar, and this is basically like giving your rabbit the equivalent of 12 Mars bars to a child. Every day. What we recommend now is that, ideally, you would cut carrots out of a rabbit's diet completely. However, if you do want to give your rabbit a treat, um, you can give them a very small amount of carrot, perhaps once a week, certainly not a full carrot, and certainly not 12 carrots a day. Likewise we've got a full apple here, again very high in natural sugars, and just sheer volume, um, that could be a problem, and we would recommend that you would give a slice of apple to your rabbit uh, once every week, uh, just as a treat, once every so often. He is obviously a really important part of a rabbit's diet and we um, tell people that uh, a rabbit should have unlimited access to hay. You cannot overfeed hay. My concern here is that given the volume of food that Darius is eating, there's nowhere near enough hay in his diet. 
um, and I would expect a, a continental giant to be eating more than one bale of hay per month. Here we have what I would recommend Darius should be eating based on recent research into rabbit diets, scientific research places such as the Royal Dick Vet and other uh, recognised bodies like that. Uh, the first thing to note is there's a lot more hay here. So it's approximately double. As I say, you can't overfeed your rabbit with hay. They will regulate that themselves. But on average, a rabbit should eat their own body size in hay every day. I've also replaced the dried food with a nugget food. So this is actually a Burgess Excel mix um, that we have here. Now, there, this is still a very large bowl of food because Darius is a large rabbit. A continental giant should be getting this amount of nuggets. Now, that might contradict what some people uh, have heard recently where um, the advice is that you give an egg cup of nuggets per day to your rabbit. The actual advice is that it should be an egg cup per kilogram in body weight. So if you assume a 7 kilogram giant rabbit, this would be the appropriate amount of nuggets to feed that rabbit per day. I've also reduced the cabbage down to just th a few leaves, so there's three leaves there. And I've substituted some of the veg as well with some dried herbs here. Fresh herbs are better, but we quite often use dried herbs just because they're easier to store in the rescue. So this is dandelions uh, and a few herbs mixed in there as well. I've reduced the carrot down to a chunk, and as I say, I would not give that every day. I would normally give that once or twice a week as a treat. And I've reduced the apple down to a slice of apple. And again, I would not give that every day, just every so often as a treat. This is an appropriate diet for your rabbit, and your rabbit will thrive if they're given this on a daily basis. Even a giant rabbit will be sufficiently fed with this volume of food. They will be healthy, and they should live a long life, or as long a life as a giant can expect. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a vet. Uh, I don't uh, carry out independent studies. I do research it a lot, though. It's important that we do as part of the charity so that we are ensuring that we are giving uh, the rabbits in our care the best possible care that we can. And that's why it was such a concern for me when there was such a wide coverage of these uh, giant rabbits. I have no doubt that Darius and Jeff would have been large rabbits regardless of how they were fed. However, their sheer weight and the, the reported diet that they are on it's of deep concern to me and I would not want anybody out there to consider that to be an appropriate way to feed your rabbit. Make sure you give your, your rabbit the healthy option, give them the appropriate food and you will have a rabbit that enjoys life, that runs about, that does binkies, that behaves as a rabbit should and doesn't just lie in a corner all day because they're just too big to move. If you need any advice or get any concerns about your rabbit's weight then by all means get in touch and we'll offer as much help as we can.